Hey folks, Vlad here from HeavyPlay.net and uh, tonight I'm going to bring you the Master of Run Ultimate Strategy Guide. I'm going to play through this game. Obviously I'll be cutting some of this video and show you the most important parts of the game. So without further ado, let's go into it. Let's have a single player game. Let's make a new game. This will replace the full game in progress, yes, okay. Without further ado, let's talk about this. We have around 11 races. Your mileage may, may vary because, uh, depending... Um, I'm not sure that everybody has Terran Canite. The Khans. And they're kind of vicious, evil humans. Uh, but I like them. I play mostly with them, so you gotta get that one. So, um, there is also Elarion, Gnolem and Trillarion, have, they have been added recently, I haven't gotten this uh, DLC, I may have, I should have gotten it with my version of the game anyway, because I was there from early access, but hey ho hum, that's life. So, you pick one of these races, who are actually very very similar to the races in Master of Round 2. Um, what is different? Yeah, graphics of course, sounds, animations, stuff like that. But all these races were like dialogues. There were also spies in um, in, in, in Master of Round 2, which is now 20 years ago. And Master of Round, of course, is a kind of reboot of Master of Round 2. So we got the spies, we got the technical guys, we got the Cylons who are scientists and telepaths. And Sakra, Violent Lizard, Silicoid, who are also kind of at the edges of society and diplomacy and so on and so forth. So you basically pick one of these races and see how it goes. Um, you can also create your custom race. That's a nice thing. First off, you choose race genetics that will define the appearance of your race. Let's say you can pick human, Cylons, whatever you want. Was it Terrans? You will enter uh, a leader name and then you start doing the math. Basically what you want to do is pick the best possible traits and you will do it by adding and subtracting points. For example, if you want to see less production from population, you will need more points. It will go minus three and you have 13 available points. But this is a severe minus, let's put it like that. So yeah, we don't really want that. So there are two traits that you need to have. One is creative. And the second one is Lithavor. Basically, Lithavor, you eat rocks. And creative is you get all technologies in a certain tree of research. So basically, you get everything. There are times in usual gameplay, everybody except, I believe, Cylons have to choose between one or two technologies and Cylons get them all because they are creative. Which is this one, means that you will get every technology in a certain research node. So you will not have to, you will not be forced to choose between two different technologies. You will get them both. And the second one is Lithophore. Basically, it means you do not eat food, you live off the rocks. Yeah, that's amazing. So, in order to get Lithophore, you will have to will have to do some math. See, food from population. Can we do this? Minus three and population growth minus twenty. Okay, no, 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 no. Let's do credits. So we have seven now, and we need minus one somewhere as well. Beam attack, no beam defense. So minus one, and there we have it. It's Lithavor and creative, and basically, oh, there's something that's incompatible. Uh, uh, basically, you cannot uh, cheat here and food from population. So I'll have to get off those three points. Elsewhere, let's see. Low gravity homeworld. Yeah, so there you go. But, however, I'm not going to make a custom race right now. I'm going to play with humans. Why choose humans? 
While humans are the simplest race, they're closest to us, we will understand it the best. So, game settings. You can play with these settings. Um, I would leave it for now at uh, standard settings, so the galaxy size is not too great. Uh, and we'll get into contact with other species fairly soon. So here we start at the very beginning. You are provided. We are now actually in um, the early warp phase. You are being given uh, two scout ships, one frigate, and one colony ship. So uh, at Sol Prime, this is where we are. This is the planet. But let's go step by step. First of all, check the credits part. This is the credits that you are earning. If you hover over it, you will get an exact um, details about who how much you are spending on ships, upkeep for buildings and other stuff. These are your command points. Uh, you need to build bases, outposts, stuff like that, and uh, research technologies in order to improve your command points. And the more command points you have, the more ships can you order. If it happens that you have more ships and command points, you will be having uh, you will have to pay billions of credits for maintenance and that can ruin you really fast what we got here is security this is level one basically all races start more or less on that except i would say dalok i um, it indicates the chance of discovering enemy spies higher the level higher the chances and all, so on and so forth basically we have minus 20 for race security so uh, we are not going to be all too good with spies in this game. And finally here we have research. Research, yes, comes from population, buildings and other uh, artifacts and stuff like that. So each time you want to see how you're standing, as long as you're in plus, it's good. So up to this side, this menu, uh, this uh, micro menu, this... In and here in this corner we have following menus. You clicked here, you have the Empire. As you grow, you will have more planets here. You will be able to actually um, start producing from here. You can change the development when you do auto build. You can say, I wish this planet to, re uh, to build only food buildings or research buildings. It can be balanced or you can do it manually. So, here we have a tax rate. It's set for 3 BC per population unit. You may want to move this up a little bit, but not too much, because if you go too far, you will get people on strike. Let's see this. If we go 5, okay, nothing yet, but later on, as soon as you switch, you will see people are on strike. Next one is research. So scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? So what do we focus on? In the research management, you decide what research are you going to be aiming for. This is, these are different branches, so to say, and you can check each one of them by hovering on these symbols. They will tell you civil transport, colony base, spy center for example xeno diplomacy and so on and on the other side you will see these small icons your chiefs of staff recommend we focus our research here so basically if you hover over them and they will tell you our military advisors recommend this node and uh, our social and scientific ones re uh, recommend these ones so this is hydroponics and biospheres this is the number of turns it will take to develop each and one of them. There is another way how to view research. If you click on view technology tree, you can go farther into this and you will be deciding, okay, I want to go get proton torpedoes and it will line up so that you will get there the fastest. But I would always suggest go here. And since we have two different uh, branches of government recommending that we do hydroponic farm, which means food plus two, and biospheres, which means food plus one and research plus one. Let's do biology. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you. 
This is diplomacy. Uh, later on, we'll have other species here. We'll be able to open negotiations and so on and so forth with them. This is espionage. We cannot at this time make any spies. We need the spy center. This is leaders. We also have no leaders right now. We have blueprints for our ships. Currently, frigate is the best one that we have developed. We, If we click edit, we'll be able to add different let's say different parts but not right now just demonstrating cancel go back and planets we have currently there are currently no known planets and fleets yeah this is it our single fleet and path of victory so these are basically the these are basically the um victory conditions that you have to fulfill diplomatic economic technological conquest and so forth so sometimes you will want to have a technological sometimes military victory sometimes even towns victory means that you discover investigate the mysterious ruins leading to entire pocket dimensions and destroy them once and for all so basically you kill the entans and towns are the bad guys in this game they're really bad guys they are living in a different dimension and they are always coming into this world and attacking usually the strongest one so let's start doing the game we should first thing we should do is click on this fleet and click on this scout basically give him the order to auto explore and he will head off Basically, he just went and explored this uh, this part, this uh, um, uh, asteroid field, and we'll have another one. Give him also auto explore um, order, and I will put these two guys on guard and block. If you don't do that, you will be stand. We asked if you don't do that. If you do not give your fleet an order, you will always be asked. At every turn, what do you want to do with this fleet? So the best thing is just put them on guard or eventually you can put them to sleep. If you just want to skip one turn, you can skip one turn. If you want on guard, disengage, just move them somewhere or click this one. So choose production. What do we do? Let's see. We don't have many options, but we have a research laboratory right here. And right now I would... It's only six turns, let's leave it like that and go to next turn. So this is the processing, the year. And now the moves are going to continue. Like these ships are going to explore. Let's take another turn. This guy is not moving for whatever reason. Let's put him again on auto explore. Fleet needs orders. Ah, what's wrong with him? I don't know. Let's do it manually, it's a bug probably. Let's put him on auto explorer now. Now he'll go. When you have auto explorer, these ships will go and visit every system around you. This is where we are right now. Sol. At the center of the galaxy. If you pay attention, you will see that the yellowish stars have uh, moderate mineral resources and a good chance of lives. It's just those are the stars that are similar to Earth. Um, Earth star, Earth sun. These usually have richer planets, but have barren planets and are not really hospitable. So it depends what your species prefers. Let's move some more. See, first important thing in everything. Okay, two important things. Every system has these points. They are called warp points. It can have one or four, five of them. And basically, they are leading to other systems. You cannot fly from this system to this one because there is no warp point between them. You can fly to this one maybe and then this one or this one and then back here. So you need to, you need to make military outposts on these points here with a so-called space factory. Right now, though, I will take a frigate and I will fly it here because I have detected pirates. 
pirates appear on planets with pirate bases and they're going to try and kill your stuff. These pirates are fairly weak. If you hover over them, you see they have four attack and two defense rating, which means that my frigate should be able, will be able to kill them off without problem. However, scouts will die instantly, as will uh, the colony ships. And if you get, if your colony ship gets destroyed at the beginning, you are in in a world of earth. So let's see what we can do. So, problems. These ships discover planets, and with time you can discover uh, technology that will enable you to uh, discover all planets at the moment you have entered the system. But right now, if there were like four or five planets, he would have to fly to each of these planets. But we do not want this ship to fly into the pirates, and they're, they're not so smart, so we'll send them here, and we'll send this one scout here, and we'll bring the warp, yes, bring the frigate over here. This planet, let's check this planet. This is actually a very good planet for the start. We have a medium size, which means this medium size, which means basically you can have 12 people. Planet resources, food, not bad at all, and production, also not bad. Positive is there's a gold bonus if we colonize this planet. So, at right off the bat, first planet that we find, I'm going to take the colony ship and send it over here to colonize it. Next turn. So, I will send these guys off here. And I will bring these guys back home. I don't want them to be destroyed by the uh, by the pirates. Let's go over here. Threatening fleet detected. Each time a this fleet, when any threatening fleet or a space monitor is the monster is detected, you'll get that symbol. So processing turn. There he goes. Yeah, research laboratory completed. This means that right now we have an improved research uh, benefit from Sol Prime and uh, we could do something else. We could do missile base, but in all honesty, here's, a thing, here's something that I would write, like to propose and when you're doing it, when you're doing it first time, take the frigate, edit the frigate, uh, instead of, um, let's say, laser cannons, take nuclear bombs. Okay, that's not going to work out. Let's re decrease the number of these bombs. So that's it. That's another Frigate 2 design. So we have a bomb. Basically, if you find, um, if you find a pirate base, you can bomb it into oblivion right away with the Frigate. Yeah, we'll build only one. So, this is it. Current fleet, frigate. This is the first majestic combat. If you click on this ship, you can put guard block and he, this, the, the, the uh, pirate fleet will not be able to pass by you. But I want to attack, so I'll just do it. Attack, and I will also take command. So just, uh, you know, assistant command, full control, cinematic. Yeah, I'll just assisted command. I'm not really thrilled, but I don't care. No, um, I sadly, somewhat sadly, um, Master of Ryan is not that thrilling as far as the space combat is concerned. So I treat it more like a strategic than a tactical game. So here we go. Click, push play, and then you can. Well, basically, you can do cinematic. Some. You can switch back, you can zoom, which is really important, there goes one, and the second one, boom, 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 fire photon torpedoes, we have no more photon torpedoes, Captain, oh, we have a bomb, laser cannon, 
And kaboom, that's it, as simple as it gets. Victory, hit any key. Hit any key. This is the summary of the space battle. Pass destroyed, frigate survives. Good. Now I can do auto explore with these once again. And they will go on these sides and I'll send the frigate over here. The calling ship is progressing nicely. Good. Biology, biology research completed. Awesome. Hydroponic farm. This is the benefits. Plus two food, biospheres, plus one research. Awesome. Now the next step would be... Let us go for... Physics. I don't foresee uh, imminent fleet battles, so... Let's, let's do something from production. Uh, go, let's go to the planet a little bit. Three more moves. We have 136 billion credits. We could actually buy it out, but we do not want to. Here, first thing you have to do is click to show queue. Otherwise, each time you click on something else, it will be switching uh, this production thingy. So, bam. Biospheres and hydroponic farms. We'll queue that. That will be it. If we wanted to hit and forget, you know, fire and forget the entire, uh, uh, um, what you call it, um, uh, the planet, you would use auto build. But at the very beginning, you need to micromanage that very, very, very seriously. So let's get out of here once again. Centauri discovered, Knar discovered, time to colonize, hit C. Now, we are on Miranda Prime. If we don't like the name, we can actually rename the system. Like, let's call it... New Hope. Prime. It's also good. So, we will have... What? Right now, we have plus two food, and this means that our colony is growing. This, but however, this means that we'll have like... we we'll have to wait to 46 moves turns until we get another guy to you know until the population has been you know, increased so let's see if we can do anything about it see since I only have this guy in food and if I put him here you know we'll be starving so I cannot I just have to do the following I have to pick something see all the Build timers are set to, yeah, forever, actually. But, let's see, plus 10 morale. We have 75. And we have biospheres with food and research. I would go for biospheres, and I will actually going to see if I can buy them at some point. But right now we can forget the colony for the time being. Set more auto explore stuff. When you see something like this, electro, electro when you notice electromagnetic disturbances such as these, you can rest assured that on this planet you will find either a space monster or a civilization minor or a big one.
once again if we find that we would do better if we let's see if we can pull this guy here and we have halved the time that we need to get another uh, another population unit so let put them uh, let us put them here so the food is coming in fleet needs orders we'll bring it here Canar Prime what is this space pirate base this is it this is where they're coming from and we want to destroy them and luckily we have this guy with bombs and we're going to send him over here sakra appear you are now before the hierarch of the sakra brood Threaten not my progeny and you and yours may live on in all honesty, as far as Sakura is concerned, they are my favorite race. I have always been on good terms with them, and they are really nice to handle by. Although, they are set, by default, to be uh, uh, difficult people to, you know, do diplomacy with. We'll put here to block. Let's see what we have here. We have a gas giant. I mean, he's huge, but it is impossible to have any humans on it. Biome is gas giant, so zero. And we have a medium toxic poor. It's 312. Centauri Prime, very small. The bonus is gold, but with toxic biome and poor minerals, it's not worth it. And we have a large Centauri with barren biome and ultra poor minerals this is something this is a system that we are going to avoid for time being and i'm not really thrilled with it fleet needs orders auto explore mm. nice very rich however tiny and barren let's see if we can find something better and now the news You are tuned to GNN, the only network that tells you what you need to know. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. This is a comic relief, the Galactic News Network. They will give you updates on how races are fighting each other, how Antares are attacking the planet, where there was a, a spy attack, ship destroyed, sabotage, or something else. Generally, things that happen in the universe. So, choose research. Have made a new discovery. This is very important for production, so we'll have to do that. Oh, speaking of which, once you have upgraded your a specific uh, branch, specific technology, you will have you'll have the ability to upgrade all the ships. For example, this is your laser cannon. It will be upgraded to a neutron blaster. They just hit upgrade all, and that will be it. So, all new ships will have a neutron blaster, whereas the old existing ships will have to be brought to a planet or a military outpost in order to be rebuilt. And not just any planet, you need a star base on it. So, what do we do next? Let's go. This is an example of technologies. This is that you will get a laser cannon plus one of these two. And you'll have to decide which one you will take. Let's take this one. Six turns, advised, uh, recommended by military, this will be it.
I like this planet a lot. Kna 3. 10 population, 3 medium size, biome is tundra, but it's a mineral rich and has normal gravity. Let us do the following. Grab a colony ship and pull it in number one. And for the time being, we want to transfer these people over here. Actually, we do not want. Uh, it, it will take way too long. Let's see. Let's do it like this. You will always have to balance between production, food, research. Orion discovered. This is the mythical Orion system. You will see in a moment there is an incredible Gaia planet, which means... Okay, Pirate Raider is attacking, Frigate, good chances, auto resolve and it will just die. Good. GNN. Galactic News Ancient Network. Ruins Discovered. The has discovered the remains of a long lost Orion facility. This means that uh, on those facilities you will need to build uh, research labs and when you have three of them you will be able to start working on portal that will get you in town into Antaran dim dimension where you can attack them instead of being attacked by them all the time. Fleet, guard, block. Next turn. I like this planet a lot. This is Orion. This huge beast here is now untouchable to me. I will not be enabled, me and no other species, we won't be enabled to kill it for a long time. The one who kills the monster will get the planet. It's a Gaia-class planet. Everything is just crazy. It has five, five, five ratings. So mineral rich, beautiful biome, food, everything. It's perfect for everything. Another electromagnetic pulse, which means something is out there. No. Um, what do we do here? We have two fleets, and in order to combine them, we have to put them both on either guard or block or on guard. Now they're in one fleet, and we have bombs. So we can basically attack this planet with one population, and we'll just drop all. Human bombardment has decimated a space pirate. Now something neat will happen. The destruction of the pirate base has left hmm. several buildings standing. One in particular seems overly reinforced. Your troops blow down its... Okay, throat. enough said. Usually you will get a one million population and it will be transferred to the closest planet that you own. Unfortunately, this was not now the case. Just bought the biosphere, see how that will go. Space pirate base found. Oh, I want to go there. Twelve turns. It's going to take a while. 